What I want to show you today is how to create 3D text using Canva. You can use Canva Pro or you can use other methods of uh, removing backgrounds and I'll put a link to that. I've created videos on that using other software, free software and um, yeah let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a canvas size. Now um, if we was to go back to home, custom size and I'll pick 1920 by 1080. Now that's a, a HD screen size because I'm going to be using it as a thumbnail for this video. And you can use any size you like, you know, if you're, if you're working with a, an 8.5 by 8.5 book or 8.5 by 11 inch book, then, you know, create that. Right, so what we've got here is I want the text. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go with something that looks bold um, for this purpose. And I'm going with, you know, it's already there. It's a free, a free font. And I'm going to call it dinosaurs. How about that? Keep it centered. Right, so dinosaurs. Yeah, it looks okay, um, but maybe we'll add a little bit of an element. Nothing too complicated. Now, this element here is a premium element. So, if I went to dinosaur and I use this pattern up here, we can go for free or pro. So, using that little graph there, that little equalizer. Now, these are all the free ones. Now that looks alright, but can I change the colour on it, which I need to do? No, I can't. What about that one? Again, no, I can't. I like that one. Can I? Yeah, I can with that one. Right, so what I'll do is, I'm going to put this on here. And that's just to add a little bit of something for this. Now if I click, left click on the outside of that, I can drag that right over, and I can let go, and I can then I can click on it again and move it about however I want. I'm going to turn that to white. I'm going to turn that to white and I'm going to download this as a PNG, a transparent PNG. Okay, that's that done. Remove those from this from this um, canvas. Now if I go to uploads and upload it, click on the click on that. Now you can't see it obviously because it's white against the background. So let's have a background rock. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It's still not overly big, so let's just drag it about a bit so we've got something to work with. Now, however you've got this PNG, whether you've used one of the other methods I've shown you in videos here, or whether you've done it through Canva Pro and you've downloaded the image with a transparent background, uh, which is the only way to do it with uh, Canva is by having the Pro version, but that's uh, not a problem. There's lots of other options. So you've got your text, any little image or whatever, and or just the text, however you've got that, and you've uploaded it with a transparent background and you've put it in place. So we edit image. So I click on this, which is the shadow. I click on the shadow all the way around. I edit that to maximum size, full transparency, blur off. Now I can change that at this point to a completely different color. But I'm not going to do that for this, just for uh, effect. I could change that to anything I wanted to. And we go again. But this time we choose this one with a curve on it. So you can see what it's actually done here now to the background. It's created shading to one side and then over to the other. Right, now what I want to do here is we've got this background. It's looking actually quite good already, isn't it? Obviously it's not... Uh, too much in the way of 3D. Uploads. We go for the same image again. And we may have to stretch it or do whatever we want with it to make it fit in place. But as it happens, it's nicely gone there. And I'm going to edge it up just a little bit. And across just a little bit. Not too much, just enough to give it a, a 3D effect. So it's just, it's just offset up this way a little bit. So, and then we go back to edit image, shadows. And we click on this. Now you can see straight away how we've got that 3D effect. Now, I mean, I can adjust that a little bit more or a little bit less, however we want it. But I think it's a case of being subtle with it, but still getting a 3D effect for this 
shadow colour, I'm going to go with a nice little turquoisey colour. Maybe they go a bit darker and we can mess about with these. But um, you, you can see what sort of an effect we've got straight away there. I mean, if I zoom out on that, I mean, that looks uh, pretty impressive, really. So, but we're not going to, we're not going to uh, stop there. What I want is, I want to go to, go to about 20 on the size and on the blur, we're going to go right down. You know, we've not kept the size so it reaches the edge of this. We've kept it so that, I mean, if I was to go all the way with that, it will just reach the edge of that. We don't want it to be, we want it to be less than. So we're looking at 20. Okay, apply. Okay, so we're back to our uploads again and we want yet another dinosaur to sit on top of there. So that's in place. Now what we do is we go to edit again and we're back at shadows and this time we put a drop shadow on it. We can move that slightly out to give us that 3D effect. So I'm just using the up and down arrows and yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty good if I must if I was to zoom out on that. We get, we get a really good effect there. So we'll apply that. So that's pretty much it. Now, like I say, if you wanted to capture all of that, left click on the mouse, hold it and drag it right across, and then right click in anywhere in this area if you wanted to, to copy. Or you can move the whole thing around to wherever it is you want. You can make it bigger, smaller. You know, ideally, you would try to work it to your cover. So if you were... If this was your cover area, you could resize the background and move this into place. Right now we could remove the background, so if I click on left mouse on the background and click delete and drag over the whole thing again, we've now got basically a logo. So it's a great way to create logos. You've not had to use camera, Canva Premium, I've used it there to remove the background on the text and that was it I uploaded it from there but I've got videos there and I'm showing you how to do remove the background in other programs too so and there's free online stuff and everything so you don't have to pay for that I just thought it would be a, a, a little idea to show you how to do 3d looking text in Canva